Hey, what's up guys? How's it going today? I want to talk to you guys about why fear really, really, really holds us back. And uh, I want to show you guys an infographic from the uh, National Institute for Clinical Application of Behavioral Medicine. So I signed up for a course with them to further my education, which I encourage everybody to do. Spend, you know, some money on simple online education. There's, you know, there's great videos on YouTube but there's also like very beneficial information where you can actually get like credits and stuff, which is pretty cool. And uh, I, I, I'd like to check out the National Institute for Clinical Application, Application of Behavioral Medicine. And I signed up for one of their courses about trauma and they sent a little infographic and it's really cool. I'm gonna show you guys here and we'll talk about it. So check this out and on this, it talks about the reptilian brain, the mam mammalian brain, and the primate human brain. And um, the reptilian brain, obviously, you know, we think of reptiles. The, mam the mammalian brain is kind of like a mouse brain, and then the primate brain is the hu is the um, the monkey brain. And if you look at the brain there, it shows that the reptilian brain, and that's where our survival and maintenance. Um, responsibilities go to. And this is where we, when we are stuck in fear, we can't use the rest of our brain. You notice you're just stuck in the brainstem. And so we're not expanding into our, our outer parts of our brain, like where we can really get into performance and like higher mental functions. So the core functions of this reptilian brain is regulating heartbeat, breathing and other vital organs. So you understand that when you have an anxiety attack or when you have this fear that brings you to this point where you just can't breathe. It's because you're stuck in the brainstem, you're stuck in the mammalian brain and, or I mean the reptilian brain. And it's a very, uh, it's the most ancient part of the brain. You know, obviously we grew from there and as we evolved, we, our brains grew bigger and bigger from there. But the core, the core functions are huge. Like our heartbeat, we, we understand when our heartbeat rises, we understand when our breathing gets short. And when, even when sometimes when we're not even breathing, then we check ourselves like, oh, I haven't even been breathing this whole time. And so it's constricting our brain. And so now we're talking about science of, of this fear and how it affects our body. And a lot of us are living in fear nowadays, and we can't actually uh, expand to the understandings of other things other than just our fear because we're stuck in the brainstem, the cerebellum. And so the basic need is safety and avoiding harm. And that makes sense for right now. That's why we talk about the importance of fear and overcoming fear and understanding that there's something more important than the fear itself, and that's called courage. And so when our need is met, we feel peace. And when our need is not met, not met, we experience fear. And that's exactly what's going on. And so the mammalian brain is the subcortical region is associated with the mammalian evolution. We might think of it as the little mouse part of the brain. It's responsible for feelings and memory formation. So what happens is we do extend ourselves a little bit past fear and then we start to get feelings and emotions and then we create these memories from within those that almost sometimes fearful memories and emotions and we create that fear and that actually stops us um, from later on performing or actually moving forward and evolving. And so the core functions are emotions, learning and memory and reward and motivation. So if you know it, if you're stuck in the reptilian brain, you're just fearful, you're not able to actually learn or create any, any memories or actually access any memories, which provides sometimes what we like to call anchor, um, anchor thoughts is like putting something in the future and understanding like, okay, if I go experience this, I've done it in the past and it's actually been very, very rewarding. And memories are very crucial for that. Like we can actually throw them into the future and use them the same way that we use tra traumatic experiences to hold us back. We can use memories for the future and say, I've done this before and it's very rewarding and we can put that in the future and that's, that's what pulls us out of fear so we can go do something. Uh, the basic need is satisfaction and approaching rewards. So if we don't have anything to look forward to, we get stuck back in the, in the reptilian brain, the brainstem. And that's what's happening with a lot of our youth right now is... There's nothing for, um, especially these some of these athletes, they've always had some, a season to look forward to. Um, and even people that don't play sports, there always is something to look forward to. Extracurricular activities or sometimes people just like going to school and look they look forward to seeing their friends. So this is very, like, it's very tolling on our brains right now. 
And the basic need is satisfaction, approach, and reward. And when our need is met, we feel contentment. And when our when our need is not met, we experience frustration. So have you ever been frustrated? Probably because you're outside of that fear, but you're stuck in that mammalian brain and your and your your need is not met. And so we get frustrated, we get angry. And um then we actually put that into the experience and we get we, we take it out on other people and ourselves too. And then we move up to the primate human brain. So check that out. That's our we're maximizing our brain at this point. And uh, I know we, we love talking about science these days and science is, is really proving itself and disproving itself constantly. And uh, that's why I look, like looking at these charts and making sense of them because we talk about fear a lot these days. And when you're in fear, it's like, it's described here that you're, when you're fearful, you're stuck in the reptilian brain in that fearful, that brainstem, and you're not able to use the rest of your brain for cognition and, and higher mental functions and simply just kind of like living in gratitude and, and just living your life, um, just living your life free and, and grateful and connecting in the moment. And so it's responsible for higher mental functions. Um, the core functions of this human brain, this, this monkey brain, um, is regulating attention, feelings and desires, complex reasoning, abstract thoughts, imagination, language, and empathy. So <clears throat> that's a lot of functions there <laughs> that this, this, you know, this primate brain actually is used for so especially like for me like the complex reasoning and the abstract thoughts and imagination we suppress all those core functions when we live in the other parts of the brain through fear or frustration when we can overcome that simply taking a breath and you know canceling thoughts and resetting to love and and experiencing that primate brain that bigger part of our brain uh, we're able to to be creative, we're able to, you know, actually have some reason and some logic and think for ourselves, whether we think whether it's right or wrong thinking for ourselves, we actually have time to process it in our brain, which is the best computer that we have on earth for ourselves for our own body, our brain is our best computer for our body. It knows our body better than anything else on the planet. So the basic need is connection and attachment to others. Now you guys see a pattern here of what I'm talking about of how detrimental everything that's going on nowadays really is to humans and, and our society. Connection and attachment to others. And when our need is met, we feel love. And when our need is not met, we experience heartache. So... You know, we're constantly living in heartache nowadays because we're in this fear. We don't connect. We, we you know, we don't attach ourselves to others and experience things with others anymore. So we're stuck in this reptilian brain and we, we're constantly experiencing heartache because we're lack of connection. So we're just demoralized at this point and we just are stuck in this moment in time. And that's why I stress nothing more than to do your best to overcome whatever fear is in front of you. And remember, courage is simply just the understanding that, that something is more important than the fear itself that's holding you back. Human connection, higher mental functions, being creative, reasoning, logic, thinking about abstract thoughts and not just the physical world that we live in. Regulating attention. So let's expand our minds, let's expand our brains. And thank you to the National Institute for Clinical Application of Behavioral Medicine for giving us this little infographic. So I hope you guys love this video. Honestly, like this is just very informational for me as well. That's why I wanted to share it. And, um, you know, rewatch this and, and take a screenshot of that infographic because it's very, very, very like knowledgeable and it just kind of like makes sense the more and more you think about how you go about your day and how you when you're experiencing fear and when you're experiencing love and when you're experiencing all these things going about your day and then 
you you start to understand like when you're scared and you recognize and you're aware of it then you start to understand okay i'm only using a third of my brain not even actually i'm just stuck in the brain stem right there in the cerebellum so understand that begin to you know take a breath cancel thoughts reset to love and and work through and overcome those fears with some courage into those higher states of consciousness and higher states of intelligence and reasoning, imagination, abstract thoughts and living, being able to live in the moment and connect with the earth, with other humans, with just the moment itself. So thank you guys. Keep learning, keep educating, and please keep sending me stuff as well. I love learning from you guys and your guys' perspective. I appreciate you all. 